Look at that attack on Israel. Look at what's happening with Ukraine. The cities are just bombed out. How can people live like that where buildings, massive buildings, are falling to the ground? It began to unravel with the disastrous withdrawal from Afghanistan, the worst humiliation in the history of our country. We have never had a humiliation like that. Thirteen heroic U.S. service members were tragically and needlessly killed. Forty-five others were horrifically wounded. Nobody ever talks about them. No arms, no legs. Face explosions. Horrifically, horrifically wounded. And by the way, we have a man in this room who's running for the U.S. Senate from a great state, Nevada, named Sam Brown who paid the ultimate price. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. He paid the biggest price probably ever paid by anybody that is running for office, and I think he's going to do great. He's running against a person that is not good, not respected, a total lightweight, but Sam, I think, paid, really, we were talking about it with some of the senators that are working so hard for Sam. But he paid the biggest price of any senator ever to run for the Senate. I don't think he's a really great person, and he's running, and I hope that everybody gets out and votes for Sam Brown. And we also left behind $85 billion worth of military equipment, along with many American citizens were left behind. Many, many American citizens, emboldened by that disaster, Russia invaded Ukraine. They saw this group of people that were incompetent. We took the soldiers out first. No, no, we're going to take the soldiers out second. If they would have followed my plan, we had a great plan. But the plan only kicked in if they did everything perfectly. And they weren't doing things perfectly, so we said it doesn't kick in. You know, 18 months in Afghanistan, we didn't have one. So they were killing them left and right, snipers. And I spoke to the head of the Taliban. You've heard this story. Abdul, still there, still the head of the Taliban. The press got on me. Why would you speak to him? I said, because that's where the killing is. I don't have to speak to somebody that has nothing to do with it. And I told him, don't ever do that. Don't ever do that again. Don't ever, ever do that again. You've got to stop. Because during the Obama administration, many great people and soldiers, but a lot of soldiers were being killed from long distance. I said, if you keep doing that, you're going to be hit harder than anybody's ever been hit by a country before. And he said, I understand, Your Excellency. He called me Your Excellency. <laughs> I wonder if he calls the other guy Your Excellency. I doubt it. <laughs> the other guy gave him everything. I mean, what kind of a deal was that? He walked out, gave him everything. Do you know that right now, Afghanistan is one of the largest sellers of weapons in the world? They're selling the brand-new, beautiful weapons that we gave them. But think of it. He actually said to me, but why, but why do you Show me a picture of my home. I said, you'll have to ask your people or one of your wives. <laughs> but he could figure it out. And for 18 months, we had not one attack on an American soldier by the Taliban. 18 months. And then we had that horrible day where soldiers were killed. I was not there because of a ridiculous election. But we had that horrible attack. And uh, they also gave up Bagram, one of the biggest bases anywhere in the world, air bases anywhere in the world, the longest runways, most powerful, hardened, thickened runways. We gave it up. And I liked it not because of Afghanistan. I liked it because of China. It's one hour away from where China makes their nuclear weapons. And you know who has it now? China has it now. We were keeping that. And now China is likewise circling Taiwan, and Russian warships and nuclear submarines are operating 
60 miles off the coast in Cuba. Do you know that? No, the press refuses to write about it. If that were me running this country and we had nuclear submarines in Cuba, I will tell you that headlines every day would be, what's wrong with our president? You don't even hear this. You're not hearing about this. Russia has nuclear submarines and warships 60 miles away, Mr. Congressman, from Miami, by the way, happens to be here. Correct? In Cuba. And that would not be stood for if it were somebody else. They don't even — they don't want to mention it, but now maybe they will. And the entire world, I tell you this, we want our hostages back. And they better be back before I assume office, or you will be paying a very big price.